Russia lost 33,713 troops, 352 tanks, 1,393 artillery systems in Ukraine in June. The Russian army's losses in Ukraine in June amounted to 33,713 troops. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said this in its report. In total, the enemy's losses in June amounted to 33,713 occupiers, 352 tanks, 589 AFVs, 1,393 artillery systems, 22 MLRS, 58 air defense systems, 3 aircraft, 997 UAVs, 1,758 vehicles and 284 special equipment units, the report says. As reported by Ukraine Form, the Air Defense Forces of Ukraine's land forces destroyed 300 means of aerial reconnaissance and attack of the Russian invaders in June, an Su-25 aircraft, three cruise missiles and 296 drones. The Kremlin does not release official statistics on military casualties. Ukraine's general staff is reporting that Russia has lost more than 540,000 troops in Ukraine since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, a number that includes killed and injured. Sergei Krivenko of Moscow-based Citizen Army Law, a human rights group, says Russia's aggressive censoring of statistics, along with virtually no remaining independent news outlets, means that the rate of casualties is unlikely to sway popular opinion about the war. In the 1990s, when the Chechen war began, there were independent media outlets that objectively discussed the military topic on their pages and told the truth about the losses, he told. And this had a sobering effect on society. There is the most severe censorship now. The authorities have everything under control and for publications of this kind, you can easily get a prison term. Krivenko also noted that the majority of troops sent to Ukraine are contract soldiers, an important distinction from the Afghan and Chechen wars fought primarily by forced conscripts that were sent to slaughter, which caused tension and backlash in society, even to the point of creating social movements. Those who voluntarily sign contracts to fight in Ukraine, he added, made their own choice. In addition, they receive a decent salary, he said. That is, ordinary people do not feel particularly sorry for them. Krivenko said that while Russia's enormous losses in Ukraine cannot be hidden, with cemeteries expanding in every Russian city and town, it will not force the Kremlin to change course. They will only turn up patriotic rhetoric more intensely to explain the growing losses, he said. They will repeat that there is a war with the West, so everyone goes to the front. Russian troops have captured two more settlements in eastern Ukraine. Russia's defense ministry reported on Monday that it captured Novopokrovsk village in the eastern Donetsk region and Stepova Novosilivka village in the northeast of Kharkiv region during the fierce battles. The Russian armies, West, Group and the Center, Group were involved in the military operation to capture the villages, the ministry said. The gains came as Russian forces have been pushing the struggling Ukrainian army in several directions for weeks. Stepova Novosilivka village with a pre-war population of about 30 people is located 17 kilometers southeast of Kupiansk near the important highway and the Shaparivka railway station. The ministry stated that control over Stepova Novosilivka will allow the West Group to improve its tactical position in this sector of the front and get closer to Kupiansk. Advancement towards the city from Sinkovka is currently taking place without much success, it added. Novopokrovsk village with a pre-war population of 64 people is located in the Yasinovatsky district of Donetsk region, 13 kilometers northwest of strategic Avdiivka city. Just 3 kilometers to the west is Novoselovka Purveya, an important logistics hub of the Ukrainian armed forces. Control over this settlement will allow the center group to move the front even further away from Donetsk and align it along the Novoselovka Purveya, Umanskoy, Yasnobrodovka, Netolovo line, the ministry claimed. It should be noted that there has been no official reaction from Kiev to the Russian defense ministry's statement.